probably impeccable picks here for week four. My 52 and six record has gotten me an upgrade. I'm no longer filming in the attic that I typically filmed in. And I'm now in Lehigh Valley Live's sparkling new offices. You might be wondering why there's no one working behind me and that's because it's two in the morning. So maybe next week they'll let me film during office hours. It's a novel idea. Anyway, I've got my five o'clock shadow going, which is more like a five day shadow. I'm ready to make some picks. We'll start in the Colonial League where Bangor travels to Salisbury. Did you know that Salisbury has the sixth most points scored in the Colonial League? Of course you did. Why would you? Falcons win. We'll stick in the Colonial League where Northern Lehigh travels to Notre Dame. The winner in this game, of course, Pi Sex. That, I mean, Notre Dame. Okay, listen, I know I made the same joke last week, but you try coming up with new material at 2 in the morning, okay? We'll move along to the EPC where Whitehall takes on Liberty. Now, I'm pretty sure if I pick against the Hurricanes one more time, someone's going to break into my apartment and steal my diploma. But the joke's on them, because I don't know where my diploma is or if I actually got it. Just in case though, we're gonna pick the Hurricanes here. Next on the docket is Nazareth versus Emmaus, which is a battle of ADs, Ramella versus Ramella. There hasn't been so much father-son conflict since those two guys on that motorcycle show that were really mad at each other. And I'm not really sure how that got resolved. But I do know that this is going to get resolved with the Blue Eagles victory. The last game, Easton versus Central Catholic, Saturday night primetime game. Now listen, I'm not trying to get on the wrong side of the church during the Pope's visit, so let's just say my pick is Central Catholic when it's actually... Okay. There they are, five picks all made to be broken. To see everyone else's picks, check out the high school sports page at lehighvalleylive.com. Thanks.